Okay, this is uh, the lessons learned from our recent over the board games, um, namely the last three over the board games. And one of the key things is it is king safety, but not to jump too quickly into going for castling at this moment in time. So I'm going to take it nice and steady, get my pieces if I can into appropriate positions and then look at which side we're potentially going to castle of for the king or what we're going to do with the king. That is um, one, I think, a, a kind of a key element that I'm picking up from, especially these last three, um, more so the last game. And um, it's not much of a major change because we know, let's just bring this here. We covered off quite a lot of recent development stuff from our evaluation of our games. So I don't want to rush anything in these terms. Let's just bring the queen here. So now we have the option of going kingside or queenside castling, if at all. Is there activity that we can still continue going on? You know? So it's a tiny shift in the mindset. I'm always concerned about making sure that my bed is sorted before we go into any activity. But smallest of details just makes me think, well, OK, maybe we do castle a little bit too early. And let's just have a look at what's going on. Can we do something else to disturb them and win some more important tempi? Let's take this knight off the board, double the pawns here. As you can see, we've not castled yet, but we're aware of the castling process. We don't want to get caught into a situation where we, we get blocked from castling. Is there any more attacking type things? Maybe we need to look at defending now, just pushing this pawn. Seems a little bit lame, doesn't it? It does stop our knight from jumping into here, but we, do we really want to do that? Do we take here and then their bishops here? Then they're kind of locked down with the bishops at the moment. So they're going to want to try and open up space in the center so there might be some logic in that i'm actually going to take the knight so for a brief moment the bishops don't really have any play but so they'll be looking for the longer game where the pieces actually get obliterated and the bishops have got some power so i'm actually going to no i'm not <laughs> it's got the queen behind so i'd be able to take the knight off i'm getting a bit excited now i'm practicing this uh, new type of thinking so I need to just slow down now. See if we push here, then we're opening up the space for them, aren't we? But we are attacking their bishop. I think we should just keep it locked down and let their bishop struggle. They will be pushing this pawn to try and open up the space. I'm just thinking, is that going to be good for them? Takes, 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 takes. I think it might be time to castle. I don't think there's anything else to be... So his bishops are pointing this way, pointing this way. So should we castle on the other side of the board? But then they're also facing this way and facing this way. And they do have a half open file here. So I think we'll castle on the king's side. And exact move that we said that we wanted to try and open up the um, area a bit. So we don't have to do anything with that. We could just bring our knight here. They could take, looking to try and just get their pieces opened up. If we did take, it brings this pawn back into line. So I'm actually just moving the knight. Let them do the work because they're wanting their bishops to breathe. So they're going to be doing all sorts of attempts to try and get them breathing. If they lock it down, that makes it even better for us because that makes that bishop even worse. Because it's got no play really on that diagonal. Yes, yeah, so these smallest of details, um, we still got the king castled anyway, but we had a lot more activity on the board um, before we actually did that. And case in point is that the answer process is about squishing your king. And in the last over the board game, the opponent was just totally focused on that and I knew what they were focusing on. 
and I let it slip with the night move because I didn't think that night move could do anything so it's so they've locked it down so that's worse for their bishop so that's one piece in my head that I'm saying is out of commission it's tempting to go here you know to attack and then take it off the ball but um, it's still blocked in by this pawn I suppose but then it can just drop back and then start living again hmm tempting 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 we should keep them locked down and just utilize the spring of the knights so tempting boom takes maybe they don't take and then we take and then he takes or we just push up and then he goes on pass on let's push up and on pass on don't want to lose because um, the bishop's still blocked here so I don't think I'm losing too much if they do do the uh, on pass on -y type thing might improve our position a bit does weaken this pawn a little bit so maybe they're going to start putting pressure onto the pawn here but we do have our rooks so I can't see that being too much of an issue. Okay, so it's keeping it locked down. So that's like we said, should be better for us. We could just push this pawn here just to protect the pawn even more. Doesn't really have any other pawns that can actually touch onto this pawn. So again, that potentially is strengthening our position. So I'm just gonna do this small pawn move here because obviously, uh, so they're attacking our queen, but the knight can take. I think basically the same work okay, here well this white square bishop is redundant so we may as well give it up improve the queen's position maybe they have got a dark square bishop which i think hopefully fingers crossed should struggle because of the lockdown nature so i think it's a positive actually taking the bishop knights hunt the bishops in our mantra pretty straightforward so it's opened up the pawn the queen is protecting the pawn now we could in essence start attacking here it's just we're going to need to bring this pawn up first before we do do that. So is there strength in their attack coming towards our king and making this bishop strong? Could we bring our knight here? We know this is coming. We take, bishop takes, the rook's defending. Hmm, any way in at all? Queen's defending the pawn. If we go, we lose the pawn because it takes and then we can't take it back. Now it's here. Maybe it goes here blocking, but this pawn is ready to drop down. I don't think they'll do that though. I think they're going to come charging down here. Onto the pawn. So we're so focused on this pawn, maybe, nope, what about this pawn, nope, okay, maybe we just wait, sit and wait for them, maybe bring the queen here or queen here, attacking the pawn here, so then he's kind of going to be defending, so I'm going to bring the queen here, looking for the horizontal, easily defended, it's not doing that so are we falling into a trap doesn't have a white square bishop so we'll take the pawn got this corner here but we don't have anything up there so the pawn's pushing past with the support of the bishop knight can come and attack the bishop now and we attack the bishop the pawn pushes down onto the queen but then we take the bishop with a check on the king so I'm going to bring the knight up. Q4. 
Queen's defending the bishop, knight can just sim simply take the bishop as well anyway, because knights hunt the bishops in our mantra, so don't need to overthink it. I'm just looking now if there's any other improved type situation. We could take this pawn. Do we lose tempo though? Knight could take the bishop, maybe the queen takes, then we can take the pawn. But the problem with taking the pawn is this. One of the rooks comes across here, attacks, then we're sliding into here. Maybe they double up onto the pawn, maybe the rook can come and defend. Hmm, might lose the opportunity of getting this. Knight takes, queen takes, queen takes, pawn takes. Knight takes, queen takes, queen takes the pawn. The queen is still surviving. Rook comes across to attack the queen. Queen comes around. Pawn maybe attacks the pawn. Hmm. It's like getting a little bit too fancy, isn't it? There's no open files for the rooks. So can we create an open file for the rooks if that happens there? Queen takes. Queen takes. Pawn takes. They have a half open file. We don't have anything. They've got a lot of double pawns. Hmm. Knight takes, queen takes, queen takes this pawn. There's too many options. Is there not a killer move? Well, that's gonna take. Let's see what he does. So might not take with the queen. He's not taken with the queen, so we didn't have to do any of that thinking. Right. Okay. So they've not taken. So we can take, like we said. Then the rook comes across. Then we bring this around here. Then the queen comes to attack the pawn. Then we bring the rook here. That's all I can envisage really. Um, let's just take the pawn. So that all seemed to happen a little bit quickly. Um, king, not doing anything I'm expecting them to do. Um, okay, so that gives us a moment to actually attack this pawn, doesn't it? If they do take, then we get a check on the king. But I think they're probably just going to move the king. So these recent over the board games really I'm trying to focus on basically improving the quality of my games um, really trying to focus on the ending of the games as well and really sticking with the mantra that we that I've been personally working on to you know to the letter don't change it when I'm actually in a game um, because the mantra does work it's um, a fantastic system that we're working well four process concept that we're working with so they do actually eventually come across has anything changed no no well we could come back here couldn't we but then we're not defending the pawn so we're going to bring this here like this in fact we could have just taken with a check on the king that's i need to stop talking fast and look at the whole picture that was an old calculation of bringing the queen back here we had a new position which was this, putting a check on the king. These small details, 
these are the annoying things that's what i do yeah so we've missed the opportunity now so it's going to be a straight exchange we can capture the pawn but we would have won a bit of a tempo so now they're looking to squish our king coming here so we could block that off by just pushing this pawn is there anything better can't go here because their rook is there so we're going to bring the pawn up you know sort of stopping the queen from coming here Yeah, these small negative things that I, I'm doing, I need to just iron out. Because I'm really pleased with the development of our game. It's just these annoying small tiny things where I, I veer away from the mantra. King's gone back, it looks like he's struggling for moves, but if we go here, his rook's just going to simply come here. It's gone onto a dark square. Look to double up. See if we can face off the queen. Oh, oh, we've got the rook there, so that's not, that's okay. We've got the rook there. squeeze the queen here then if the rook goes there that's kind of like a checkmate rook's down not sure what that is we could go and x-ray through but we can't take it and to continue with don't think there's any tempo now is there could go here I suppose, yeah, could go here with the queen. We can just get the queen off the board. Catch a... In fact we get the queen off the board and it'd be checkmate. No it wouldn't, sorry. If he goes there we go here with the check on. If he takes then the rook takes. Then we've got the back rank. But then he's got this pawn. Is that what he's going for? He's coming for this pot, he's greedy munching. He's greedy munching. If he greedy munches though, it's checkmate, isn't it? So he swings himself back. It's almost an almost a situation, isn't it? So he goes back. We're in a similar type situation. We could go here, then later. Oh dear. Oh, he's hiding. He's going to hide here. Not liking these apples. So if we go here with a check, then if he hides here, then we can swing here. But if he just goes back again, I think he's just going to go back into... No, he's gone there. Okay, let's go here. And then we can go here with the rook get the queen off the board or do we even have to they proposed the take back but I'm not sure that there's a take back situation here I don't know where they would go and um, so we can take but we lose the queen as well that's the problem in it so we could go here check and then go for a checkmate yeah okay check Okay.